Hey guys, how you doing? Just to give you an update of how the cube is doing after eight months, and uh, to be honest, everything is going great. You know, it's had its challenges, um, but I conquered them, I uh, fixed them, I stabled them, and it's doing great. Fish is doing great. The corals are doing great, but one that I still have a mystery of why it is happening but I get to you when I get there um, but the tank is overall doing great and I'm happy after 8 months since the 55 gallon swap anyways so um, the trachophilia beast as I always call them very big and this is a new um, new addition uh, scooter Blenny which uh, Miss Meldian and I call him Rocco. <laughs> Gives him a little uh, character. Uh, this piece we got from Rap New York. Um, it's a Ultra Maxima Clam. <clears throat> He's not doing too bad. Um, I hope really that I can keep him for long term, but obviously at that point I'm gonna have to be changing tanks if he does grow the way it is. Now well, this is my uh, Zoa Garden and they have completely covered all their rocks um, and they keep going straight up they're doing very well <clears throat> uh, the green neon zoas with a few polyps here the yellow polyps um, and finally that aptasia has died yay the famous aptasia has died conquered it uh, look at the rock from the yellow polyps, it's completely covered it, you can't even see the rock anymore. Um, it's got a few yellow mellows on it. This is the scrambled eggs, which is now curving into the back of the other rack. Uh, sorry, other rock behind it. So that's doing great. Looks good. Uh, the yellow mellows are they're explosive really like they just conquer anything they touch really <laughs> I don't know if it's, it's a good thing or a bad thing but they are nice they are nice looking they have a little greenish yellow tint to them this is still probably my favorite piece of my whole tank and it's the yellow scroll coral every time I look at it it just amazes me how smooth this guy looks uh, the red plating Monty <coughs> is starting to pick up its curve now um, very happy with this piece and um, this guy <coughs> excuse me uh, this is the blue pavona and uh, from the plug it has died because I'll tell you it the pink pulsating zanya always looks blue under these LEDs but um, they're growing back again um, the tomato clowns continues to host it ever since I taught that video um, this is one piece of the devil's hand and uh, it's growing quite nicely um, the devil's hand just decided to lose a piece and it's stuck there and it's grown now this is back to the blue pavona the war coral which never had a problem with and now recently now <clears throat> they completely conquered the blue pavona's plug and um, I'm gonna have to take that plug out because it's completely dead and the war coral or fire coral killed it um, I apologize I did this video without cleaning my glass um, the green polyps are doing great they actually are spreading even more you can see to the bottom left uh, they're doing great they, they're doing really good uh, the original <clears throat> um, devil's hand uh, yeah from where that little piece came off from and He's doing great. The stalk is nice and thick and healthy. Polyps extensions everywhere. I'm very happy with this piece. Um, the hammer coral. The hammer coral has now got three heads. I'm happy for that. Uh, it had one head for the longest time, um, but it is it is recuperating quite nicely, and I'm happy with that. 
um, the frog spawn and the octo spawn that I got from Coloss on Rap New York. Uh, it's a peach frog spawn, I mean, sorry, octo spawn and uh, the green stalk with purple tip frog spawn. They're doing quite well ever since I put them together. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but ever since I placed them one next to another, they they doing great. Um, this also I got from Corlust in Rap New York. Um, right now it's not looking too good, but usually every day it looks nice and plump and, and healthy, full of full of life. Really, I have no clue why it looks, it's trying to be shy today. I have no clue. The summer coral guys. This this piece right here it just keeps amaz amazes me. It just the texture. I wish you can see it in real life. How beautiful this piece actually looks uh, video doesn't give it justice um, it's it's just it growing and, and it's encrusting on the rock nicely now I finally am happy that I have a bird's nest um, and I got this from Rap New York as well um, it is extended actually within the month that I've had it and it's doing really good this Acropora I also got from Rap New York um, it's got like a purple stalk and I don't know if it's green or yellow but in the video it does look green but it's it's yellow uh, the candy cane little garden I got going down there um, not doing too bad doing great uh, the purples are finally splitting after they were so massive so that's good uh, the blue leptastria I have given up on this guy I will not get rid of him though but I have given up on this guy, he does not grow. I've had him since my purchase of the live sale of Tidal Gardens and he has not grown. Um, the Porcelopora actually almost died on me and recuperated quite nicely compared to how it was. It was really bad. I really thought I was gonna lose it. Uh, the GSP is slowly continued to recede on me. And yet, a whole bunch of polyps has gone in its stead. Um, naturally, I never put them there. Uh, the Kenya tree, uh, my least favorite coral, is looking amazing as uh, as has ever been. Actually, I'm not lying about that. He's looking great right now. And as long as it doesn't split, I'm happy with it. Because when he was in the 55, all he did was split everywhere, and that was frustrating. I couldn't stand it. And this is the Mint Pavona. Um, it wasn't doing too good, if you remember the last video, and it's recuperated quite nicely. Um, it has actually regained its strength, and it's growing. Um, the tomato brown, with uh, it's still hosting. Like I said, it's still hosting the pink posting Zenia and if you haven't checked that video out you should check it out because it's a very very good experiment um, the three stripe damsel uh, is not much of a pain unless I put my hand in it it wants to uh, bite me all the time um, the Clarky he's the second oldest fish that I have he's probably about five years old now uh, the two stripe damsel which is completely black now. When I got him, he was like a grayish color. You can see his stripes now. You can't barely see it. Um, and this is some of the view, if you can see. Oh, this guy is the rock flower anemone, and I also got him from Rap New York. Um, it is red outside. It's got a green neon or yellowish neon fluorescent color inside. And for some reason, it's got a, a, a little heck, a crushed coral inside in the middle. I gotta take it out. But it's doing good. It's doing good. It's very healthy. It responds to the food nicely. Now this guy, guys, it's is. I don't know what else to say. I have lost my meat coral, and um, I am still trying to figure out why this happened. Um, I've had it for almost two years now and it's, it's pretty, pretty, 
it has really completely like crushed my heart because I really love this piece. Now, finally, I have made a canopy for my lighting. Finally, after a long time, it's been almost about yeah the whole entire time I had this cube pretty much. Um, I finally made the canopy, and I still have the ABI uh, light bulbs. And as you can see, they do just fine. Um, the crawls are good with it. I have no problem with it. They do just fine. I don't have a par meter, so I can't really tell you how they're good on par or whatever, but they're doing great. And I have no complaints other than the fact that I have no control of the blue and white. That's the major downfall. I just don't have no control. I just turn them on and turn them back off. Um, but they do great in terms of uh, illuminating and keeping my corals healthy. Um, this is somewhat of a top view to see, so you can see the tank. Um, I'm sorry guys that I did not clean the glass. Uh, but you can see also coral lined algae everywhere. The back glass, the overflow, it's it's everywhere in the back. I want to keep it in the back. I don't want it really on the sides of the glass or anything else. I just want to keep it in the back. If it grows back, fine. Leave it there. Anyways, guys, this is the eight month update. I hope you like it. Stay reefing. Take care, guys. Peace. If you haven't subscribed, hit that like button. Subscribe now. More love plays to come. Later, guys. Peace.